You can read about the Pilgrims in Thanksgiving in books suggested by the Library of Congress. It's going to be a new classic. This fantasy drama features Academy Award winner Mary Steenburgen as a young mother who comes to believe in Christmas thanks to the efforts of her young daughter and an angel named Gideon. It's a very touching story, and you won't want to miss One Magic Christmas. Also starring in One Magic Christmas are Arthur Hill, Harry Dean Stanton, an old friend of mine, and this lovely bright youngster, Elizabeth Harnoy. Elizabeth, what did you ask Santa to bring you this year? Did you hear me, Elizabeth? I am. Um, Say yes. <laughs> I asked for um, a, a rainbow bright doll and a and hug. What else? <laughs> a cabbage patch twin, and I asked for a lot of things like a frosty, the snowman stuffed animal. That's what I want, a cabbage patch doll and a Pillsbury Doughboy. That's what I'm looking for for Christmas. Well, we hope that your wishes will come true, Elizabeth, and thank you for being with us. And here comes our favorite Disneyland friends with a special holiday greeting. <laughs> You know, in bear country, these stars of Country Bear Jamboree, Wendell, Shaker, Liverlips, and Big Al, are now performing in their holiday show, The Country Bear Christmas Special, where Liverlips debuts, will you believe it, a rock and roll Santa, and oh. Big Al is dressed, can we stand it, as yes. Baby New Year. What's this world coming to? <laughs> I you can, can see wait. it all at the Disney character, all of the Disney characters in Fantasy on Parade at Disneyland. I mean, Donald Duck is there and Pluto is there, and Chippendale, you know about that. Oh, yes. <laughs> the big there's cat. Donald. Yes, there's Donald. Oh, uh, he's my favorite friend. And he's there with Pluto. Yes. Oh, yes, and we have the big bad wolf there somewhere coming up. Oh, Chippendale just walked by. And that was Alice in Wonderland, I know. Hey. Hello. Oh, we'll go to I like him. Mary Poppins. Oh, Alice oh. in Wonderland and Twiddly Dumb and Twiddly Dee and the Queen of Pinocchio, Hearts. There's Pinocchio. Pinocchio. The White Rabbit is there. Well, once again, the Disney people have captured the true joy and spirit of Christmas with this wonderful addition to the Hollywood Christmas Parade. Walt Disney Productions, always a leader in the finest of family entertainment, continues to spread happiness wherever they go and add that magical touch to all of our lives. And our congratulations to Michael Eisner and to Jerry Katzenberg and all of the new people over at Disney that are doing such a fantastic job. Yes, bless their hearts. They must be so proud of what they do. Ah. ah, yes, these talented young people came all the way from, would you believe, Reno, Nevada to be with us tonight. The Earl Wooster High School Marching Colts. Band director Bob Afonso tells us that this group has won six trophies in last year's Holiday Bowl Music Festival. But they're particularly proud this year because they're sporting new uniforms. They're playing... March of the Toys. Let's listen as drum major Brad Waddell directs them. Coming up, James Darren, Ernest Bortnine, Jill Whalen, and many more. Insect crumbs on the floor in the kitchen? Quick, get them with a the quick up. Cookie crumbs on the floor in the bedroom? Quick, get them with a quick up. Potato chips on the floor in the living room? You know what to use? The Eureka Quick Up Vacuum Cleaner. It's cordless.
You're watching the 54th annual Hollywood Christmas Parade from Hollywood, California. I'm Bob Eubanks with my lovely co-hostess, Lee Merriweather. And you're listening to the award-winning sound of the Earl Wooster High School Band from Reno, Nevada. Next to my darling Buddy Ebsen is Barnaby Jones. This gentleman is certainly one of my favorite TV detectives, Gerald McGrady, one of the stars of Simon and Simon. He's riding in a 1957 Ford retractable. Gerald is an actor who loves playing roles that are completely against his type, as you know if you've seen his film Jackals, in which he plays a corrupt deputy sheriff. He's also one of the founders of the Entertainment Industry Council for a Drug-Free Society. Gerald, we know you're really dedicated to the fight against dr drug abuse. Could you tell us what the Entertainment Industry Council for a Drug-Free Society is doing to help in this fight? I'm sorry, Lee, I didn't quite hear the question. Oh, darling, I'm sorry, I, I'll talk up. Uh, I, I know that you're dedicated uh, in the fight against drug abuse. Could you tell us what the Entertainment Industry Council for a Drug-Free Society is doing to help in this fight? Well, we're doing several things, Lee. Uh, one of the things is television spots using celebrities, both uh, entertainment, sports celebrities, uh, radio spots. I myself have testified before the U.S. Senate, as has Tim Reed and several other members of our uh, council. And uh, basically, we're trying to get the message out there that drug use is not a glamorous thing at all. It's a thing for losers. Um, well, that's bless about your heart. Well, Thank you for riding in our parade, Gerald. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Gerald. I would like to wish everyone a very happy and a very safe holiday. Thank, Thank you. you, dear. The good luck same with to many, you. many years of Simon and Simon. Thank you. The world renowned Budweiser Clydesdales are helping to kick off the official start of the holiday season in Southern California. Budweiser's entry, as in previous years, spots li spotlights the Los Angeles Muscular Dystrophy Association poster child. And this year, it's eight year old Diana Harvey of Tahunga, California. Now, her companions on this beautiful float are Norm Crosby, his lovely wife, Joan. And Norm is one of my favorite comedians, one of my favorite human beings, i got to tell you that. He says he loves to make people happy, and he does. Whether he's on stage or working for one of his many favorite charities, he does a good job always. Hello, Norman. Norm, Merry Christmas to you. What do you think of this parade, Norm? What do you... Bob and Lee, it's always good to see you. <laughs> Bob and Lee, like a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> it's just nice in the spirit of the holidays to know that chastity begins at home <laughs> and that you should do it to others, but do it quick before they do it to you. Have a nice holiday. Merry Christmas. From all your friends at Budweiser, this Bud's for you. Thank you, Norm. And that's the lovely Diana Harvey, the muscular dystrophy poster child from Tahunga, California. Merry Christmas. And you're a lousy golfer. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, Norm. <laughs> oh, here's a lovely lady. Uh, yes, this is little Soleil Moon Fry, also known as Punky Brewster of NBC's comedy of the same name. She's riding in a 1975 Buick with her mother, Sandra Palouse. Soleil is only nine years old, isn't that something? She became yes. an actress because she wanted to be like her brother, Mino Palouse. She says she's a survivor, like her character, Punky. When I was nine years old, I didn't even know what survivor meant. I know. Soleil, we understand you're going to the White House in February. Could you tell us about your trip? Well, it's, it's like I've been doing an um, organization, Just Say No, for drugs, and um, I'm the chair spokesman for it, Sp spokes kid, and um, it's a really fun. Well, we're very happy that you that you are doing that work, and it's wonderful to have you with us in the parade. Um, I'd like to say Thank Merry you. Christmas and peace on earth for everybody, and I'd like to say hi to my family, my friends, and everybody on my show. You're a doll. Thank bye you bye, so babe. Bye Here's bye a bye colorful to group, all in glittering western style riding outfits, and that's Marshal Bonnie Stanley of the Burgundy. Her daughter, Christine Stanley, is the lady in the yellow western outfit and 16-year-old parade veteran Bob Huffman on the white horse. Now, Linda Romberg is the lady in the blue riding a registered quarter horse. Hooray for quarter horses. And the pretty young lady in the wine-colored outfit is Carrie Johnson. All of the horses in this group are tacked with their beautiful sterling silver saddles. We welcome the ladies and gentlemen of the Bonnie, Bonnie Stanley group. Nice to have you with us, and Merry Christmas to all of you. Beautiful, beautiful costumes. Mm. Well, there's the mayor. We are proud and happy to have this gentleman with us this evening, the mayor of the city of Los Angeles, the Honorable Tom Bradley, riding with his lovely wife, Ethel. Mayor Bradley is looking to lead the city of Los Angeles into the next century with his L.A.'s 
2000 plan, which will create a healthy business climate and make Los Angeles a financial capital of the world. Mayor Bradley, we know you're proud of this city for many reasons, but especially for the wonderful Olympic spirit, which you helped generate. Do you feel that this spirit is still alive in Los Angeles? Absolutely. Not only here, but around the world, wherever you go, you'll hear comments about the great Olympic Games held in Los Angeles. And this parade tonight, the 54th annual Christmas parade, really has put Hollywood on the map around the world. Makes us all very proud of this community. And I want to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. Thank, Thank you, sir. You. Bob Eubanks and I welcome you to the Hollywood Christmas Parade and wish you and your wife the happiest of holiday greetings. Thank you, Lee and Bob. Thank you, Mayor. This is fun, isn't it? This is mm. the top civilian marching band in Northern California, the spirit of Sunnyvale Marching Youth Band from Sunnyvale. Under Brad Hawkins' direction, these high school and junior high students became the 1984 National and International Youth Band Champions, and folks, you can't get much better than that. Here's White Christmas, directed by their drum major, Eric Geffen, from Sunnyvale. Coming up, Valerie Hopper, Kim Field, Santa Claus, and many more. One of the most densely populated places on Earth is your kitchen counter. So crowded, the only place to go is up. Presenting the Space Maker line, now from Black & Decker. Coffee maker, mixer, toaster oven, electric knife, and can opener. The only completely coordinated line of under-the-cabinet appliances. They return your counter to a more natural state. The Space Maker line, from Black & Decker, ideas at work. There's a nice hot way to spice up your day. Mexican Velveeta is here. Make your enchiladas a little bit hotter. With the peppery cheese blend of the year. Mexican Velveeta processed cheese spreads just right. For giving a nacho a real macho bite. With Mexican Velveeta, you'll say. Four peppers and cheese specially blended to please. There's no single cheese hot or mild like Mexican Velveeta. The Arrow T50 Tacker has a revolutionary new attachment. The Expando fastens almost anything to wood, masonry, or sheetrock. Arrow and Expando, you'll grow attached. Anyone coming to Van Boxtel comes expecting two things. A great selection and a low price. Perhaps the lowest price around, and that's what we deliver. Right now, you can drive a brand new front-wheel drive 86 Escort for as little as $123.50 a month at Van Boxtel. 86 Ranger pickup from $129 a month. Great bargains in any weather, but right now, even better. New Escort from $123.50 a month. Ranger pickup from $129 a month. Right now at Van Boxtel Ford AMC Jeep Renault in Green Bay. Deer hunters, bring your hides to Berlin, the fur and leather city, for two choices in expert custom tanning and tailoring. Visit Midwestern Sport Talks downtown or Custom Coat Company on North Washington and outfit yourself in beautifully tailored deerskin garments and accessories at a fraction of the retail cost. Remember Midwestern Sport Togs and Custom Coat Company for expert custom deerskin tanning and tailoring. Located in Berlin, the fur and leather city. Bob Eubanks and Lee Merriweather with the 54th Annual Hollywood Christmas Parade. The Spirit of Sunnyvale Marching Youth Band, their award-winning group from Sunnyvale, California. These two have promised not to divulge any agency secrets this evening. Alex Cord and Gene Bruce Scott of CBS's Airwolf Riding in Lincoln. Alex is not only an actor, he's a novelist, a horseman who's become an expert polo player. Gene's television career started on the soap opera days of our lives after a successful career in modeling. Alex, in addition to playing polo, we hear you're teaching Jean to ride. Is she a good student? She's an excellent student. <laughs> she knows how to keep the fork at end down. And oh, me too. That's the secret. <laughs> How about it, Gene? Is Alex a good teacher? He's the best. Well, great. Well, thank you for being with us. Merry Christmas, folks. A Merry very Christmas Merry to Christmas you and everybody to you. else. Thank you, Alex. And now we'd like to welcome the 13th District Councilman Michael Wu and Councilman Zev Yaroslavsky from the 6th District. They're riding in a Cabriolet Series 2. Michael was elected in June of this year to represent the Hollywood area, and we're very happy to have his support. 
Zev has been on the council for 10 years and is currently, he currently chairs the Finance and Revenue Committee. And first of all, Michael Wu, we congratulate you for riding in your first Hollywood Christmas parade and as a city councilman at that. Merry Christmas, sir. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas to you, too. Do you have a message for all of your Los Angelinos here? Well, I guess I have two messages. One is that it's wonderful to be the councilman of this area at a time when Hollywood is going to start to be revitalized. And also, as a general message, we want to send a message from the city council of peace and brotherhood to everybody. Thank you very much. We welcome you both, and thank you for doing such a wonderful job for our community. Thank Zev you. Yaroslavsky, a Los Angeles city councilman, and of course, Michael Wu. Merry Christmas, gentlemen, and to all of the council members. This is the Channel Islands High School Raiders Marching Band from Oxner, California. That's where I started in radio. Under the direction of Gerhard Engels? <laughs> no, I wasn't under his direction, no, but that's but where these, I started. but these youngsters are, and they have managed to capture 22 awards last year alone, as well as making appearances at the L.A. Raiders football games, the Ventura County Special Olympics. Here's a sample of their talent as they play for us and led by drum major Richard Chastair. to the Channel Islands High School Raiders Marching Band on a cold, kind of chilly evening in Southern California, but the Christmas spirit is in the air as we present to you this fantastic parade. It all started as uh, the Santa Claus Lane Parade until 1978, and then they made it the Hollywood Christmas Parade. It's now seen worldwide. We welcome over a million people who are sitting curbside watching this parade, and many more millions out there in our television audience. What's fun is this parade actually started as a kind of a business builder for the city and they had reindeer and they had the reindeer housed in a stable at the corner of La Brea and Hollywood Boulevard. I mean now you can't even you can't even get near La Brea and Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> Here's Jesse Valesquez and Nicole Chapman of fame, otherwise known as Jesse Borrego and Nia Peoples, riding in a 1941 Chevrolet. Now, Jesse started his acting career as the class clown in his hometown of San Antonio, Texas. And Nia's love for show business came after a very special performance at a children's hospital during the Christmas holiday. Do you know, Bob, fame. that when Jesse auditioned for fame, his phone number was lost in the shuffle? He didn't know he had gotten the part until his roommate at CalArts College heard a news report on the L.A. radio station <laughs> that the casting people were looking for. That's showbiz. <laughs> I love it. That's wonderful. Jesse and Nia, do you have a special special message to share with the young people, such as your characters on fame who are struggling to get into show business? Yes, yes. we do. We we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank, thank you, you for that. Jesse that's and Nia, that's great. wonderful. What a treat. I tried to get into show business by singing on Hollywood Boulevard and I got arrested. <laughs> <laughs> Let's welcome one of our favorite equestrian groups, the Fancy Prancers. Leading the unit is none other than KTLA anchor person Debbie Davis, and there she is. Isn't she pretty? Riding along with Debbie tonight are Lee Heighton, the group's coordinator, Dave Wadlock, Kathy Schwartz, Barbara Patton, Richard Harrison, Cheryl Holland, Maureen O'Connor, and Donna Benefield. Now Donna, by the way, is riding her world champion Tennessee Walker, Tender Love. What a treat it is to ride one of these fabulous horses. Tender Love was 1982's Walking Horse of the Year and last year performed during the Summer Olympics. The Fancy Prancers are making their seventh appearance in the Hollywood Christmas Parade and have been featured five times in the Rose Parade. Now, their formal English riding outfits were handcrafted by Lee Heighton, and the group has been together since 1972. We're delighted they're with us. Those Tennessee walking horses, they were developed by the plantation owners in Tennessee years ago to cover a, a great distance and a very comfortable pace. And boy, are they a thrill to ride, too. There's Debbie. She's the anchor person at uh, KTLA Channel 5 here in Southern California. Part of the Golden West Broadcasters. Fancy Prancers. 
going from teen idol to established star was really quite simple for this handsome gentleman, James Darren of CBS's T.J. Hooker. He's riding in a 1965 Lincoln this evening. James attributes his long-term success to his fans, and those of us who saw every Gidget movie and swooned every time we heard Angel Face are certainly glad to hear that. And I remember playing James Darren's records back in the 60s. He had hit record after hit record, and he's a motion picture and television star. James, what's next? What can you possibly do that, that, that will top all of this? I, I guess a lot of things. I don't know. I'm going to just try to keep working, to be honest with you. How are you guys doing? We're doing just We're fine. We're doing well, Imagine. darling. Who's I mean, that in your lap? This is my niece, uh, Jessica, and my niece, Jennifer, and my friend, Michael Goldman, and my wife, Evie. Well, that's a wonderful group, and we wish you Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas, Leanne. Yes, it's good to see you again, Jimmy. One of the stars of T.J. Hooker, Mr. James Darren. Okay, for the eighth year in a row, let's welcome the Tulare Union High School Redskin Marching Band. Under the direction of Bill Ingram, this group from California's San Joaquin Valley has won over 100 top awards in the past eight years. And tonight, they're Natalie attired in black, red, and gold uniforms. Let's listen to Do You Hear What I Hear? It's directed by drum major Alex Valdez. Here they are, the Tulare Union High School Redskin Marching Band. It's Bosley's Law. She who buys bargain trash bags can be penny wise, but trash foolish. Oh, I almost made it. So close. Close doesn't count in trash bags, Judy. Why take chances? Flat trash bags are made with three plies of stress flex, that fantastically elastic plastic that lets the bag stretch without breaking. That's more like it. Stress flex in glad trash and large kitchen garbage bags. Why take chances? Get glad. Oh, Morris, to look at you sleeping, who'd ever know you're the most finicky cat in the world? Even as a kitten, it was never the right toy, never the right bed. But it didn't end. Thank heaven for nine lives. That was my secret recipe. Nothing else was good enough. <laughs> why do I put up with you, Mr. Finicky? Know why? Because you're my Morris. Hey, both hands on the wheel. Wander through dozens of rooms of beautiful furniture at a Broyhill Showcase Gallery and take home a world of decorating ideas. Dock Liquidation and Auction Palace, located next to the Forest Junction Cafe and Truck Stop. Whether you want to buy wholesale or retail, Dock Liquidation and Auction Palace offers the widest variety of merchandise at the lowest prices. We'll give you a dollar bill for five of them. Sold! Pass them out! Wholesale auctions are held every Wednesday at noon. Any business that sells retail merchandise, including gas stations, taverns, hobby shops, and others, are welcome. Retail auctions take place every Monday night at 6 p.m. and are open to the general public. Come in and experience the excitement at Dock Liquidation and Auction Palace. Free door prizes awarded at every auction. Dock Liquidation and Auction Palace, 12 miles east of Menasha at the intersection of Highway 10 and 57. Uh, say, Murray, if anyone asks for me, I'll be gone for a little while. I, I think I'll mosey up to sale and buy something. <laughs> Union High School Redskin Marching Band from Tulare, California. And watching the faces of some very happy children, yeah. part of the one million people who have lined Sunset Boulevard, then Highland and Hollywood Boulevards here in Southern California for the 54th annual Hollywood Christmas Parade. It was all started by a gentleman by the name of Colonel Harry Blind, way back a long time ago. And the first movie star to ride with Santa in 1928 was a lady by the name of Jeanette Loft. There's a little trivia for you. Bob Eubanks and Lee Merriweather. And now America's number one radio station, KISS FM, is hotter than Halley's Comet. Currently celebrating their 10th anniversary, KISS, a subsidiary of the Gannett Corporation, is always topped with L.A. listeners. Riding the float is KISS's morning personality, Rick Dees, Billboard Magazine's number one radio personality in the USA. And you can hear this crazy guy all over the world 
on the Rick D's Weekly Top 40 radio show, and you'll find his newest album, Put It Where the Moon Don't Shine, in your favorite record store. You are a sick man. I'm just convinced of that. Hi, Rick. Hello, hey. Rick. Lee, Bob, how you doing? Merry yeah. Christmas, Matt. <laughs> Merry Christmas, happy holidays. You look great. Put it where the moon don't shine. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> I will. <laughs> and this from the fellow that gave us Disco Duck. Disco yes. Duck, yes. Uh, yes. I, I brought the, uh, these are the Kissettes right here. Uh, My wife, Julie, and uh, Kevin. It well, looks Merry like Christmas you have you. a good hey. group. You have a special Christmas message that you'd like to give to all your listeners? Just... Have a great holiday season. Be careful. God bless you, and thank you so much. Thank you very much, Rick uh -huh. Dees, one of America's most popular radio and television personalities. Well, it's true. <laughs> what can I tell you? <laughs> and this young lady loves to make people laugh. Kim Fields of NBC Facts of Life is writing in a 1915 Model T. She's been given the Youth in Film and Entertainment Award for Best Young Comedian two years in a row. Kim, we understand you have some special friends at school who you would like to share a Christmas message with. Yeah, you got it. Happy holidays, <laughs> Lee and Bob. Yeah, Happy you got it too, hon. <laughs> I want to say Merry Christmas to all my friends at Burbank High School and my uncles who are in Detroit. I love you guys a lot. Well, Merry Christmas to you. What a pretty lady thank you are. You. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, and now a man who needs no introduction at all, Ernest Borgnine, riding in a 1953 Packard with his lovely wife, Tova, founder and president of Tova Nine Cosmetics. Ernie oh, is you? currently, hi there, dear, is currently starring in CBS's Airwolf. Well, of course, we'll never forget his brilliance in From Here to Eternity, his Oscar-winning portrayal of Marty, and, of course, as the star of that hit TV series, McHale's. Uh, that's the one I like. <laughs> Me too. Ernie and Tova, tell us about Christmas at the Borgnines. Well, this year we're going to be celebrating, hopefully, with all of the Rare Wolf people, and also with our family, and Lee and Bob, if your family want to join us, please come by. <laughs> and we, we love, love you all it. and wish you a happy Happy holiday. What time is dinner? <laughs> uh, about three in the clock in the afternoon. Oh, we'll be there. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Bob and Lee, and many, many, many happy holidays to you. you Thank too. all of you. He's looking younger. God bless. That makes me mad. Why does <laughs> he, he do that? Wonderful. Oh, uh, look here. Marshal Johnny Johnson and his champagne palomino brandy lead our next equestrian group. This year marks Johnny's seventh appearance in the parade. Dottie and John Paul are here as well, beautifully turned out in Christmas red and purple. And Peggy Narducci and her silver-mounted lady. Peggy is one of awards the past four years, which is not too bad since she's only been riding about five years. La Jolla's Lightning is the name of the American saddlebred. Patricia Bohr is the name of the lady. And you're not seeing double vision, folks. You're seeing double vision. Yes, you are. Double vision is Wilbur Nash and his daughter Lisa on their matched silver-mounted black Mustangs. And you, Mustang horses. You very seldom see Mustang horses in parades. What a treat that is. Aren't they oh, something? they are beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you something, Bob. Jill Whalen has just sailed in on the love boat to ride on the KTLA float, which salutes the staff and volunteers of Child Help USA. The float is a tribute to Child Help's continuing campaign against child abuse through prevention, research, care, and treatment. Their newest care center is located right here in Hollywood. Jill is this year's Child Help USA Christmas ambassador, and we are happy to have her with us this evening. And Jill, this is a great opportunity to wish all of your fans a Merry Christmas. Why don't you yeah. do that? You Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope everybody has a safe and happy Christmas and a fun one, too. You guys, too. Good Thank to see you. you. Thank you, Jill. Thank you for being happy a part holidays. of Child Help USA. Oh, here's one of my favorites. This is the <laughs> lovable bad guy, Sorrel Book, the bumbling and downright mean boss hog of the Dukes of Hazard, riding in a 1929 Ford Touring car. I loved his character. What a marvelous job he did. <laughs> Sorrel has been in show business more than 40 years, playing roles in radio, television, theater, and film, and he's made over 200 appearances in television shows alone, and all three of my kids have done stunts on Dukes of Hazard, and they all say, what a neat guy he is. Hi, Sorrel. Hello, sir. Merry Christmas. Well, thank you very much, Lee and Bob. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad to be here with all of you in Hollywood. I who are you trying to you. cheat? <laughs> what, what, what who are you, you trying to cheat out of Christmas? Well, wait a minute. I hope nobody gets cheated out of Christmas, especially <laughs> me. I hope everybody gets for Christmas uh, what they got coming to them. Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't you worry about that, none. Thank Merry you Christmas. for being Merry with us, Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you all. 
This lady caught our <laughs> ear in 1981 when she released a hit called Queen of Hearts. Here is Juice Newton and her friend Tommy Goodspeed, who is captain of the Los Angeles Colts Pro Polo Team. Juice is still making hits. Her newest album is called Old Flame, and her single, You Make Me Want to Make You Mine, reached number one on the country charts. But Juice, is he teaching you how to play polo? <laughs> Um, sometimes, yeah, but uh, he actually does, does the best writing, so I just kind of stand around and watch. We've enjoyed your music. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Merry Christmas to you and yours. Merry Christmas to everyone here tonight. This is the red, white, and blue of the Santa Ana Wind Senior Youth Band. They're very proud to be a self-supporting organization affiliated with the Tustin, California YMCA. Band director and founder Robert Ward tells us that they have taken home 95 sweepstakes awards. And here's a display of their musical talents as they play the Parade of Carols, led by drum major Greg Bernhardt. Here they are. Coming up, Santa Claus, Debbie Boom, and more. Millions of headache sufferers are discovering Nuprin and its medicine's power over pain. Before I got a Nuprin sample, I had no idea this little yellow pill was so powerful. Nuprin is different. It contains the non-prescription strength of medicine that's in Motrin tablets. Huh. Nuprin has the power to stop headaches better than regular strengths of aspirin or Tylenol. And Nuprin didn't upset my stomach. Nuprin from Bristol-Myers. For headache pain, it's medicine with power over pain. Pizza crumbs on the floor in the kitchen? Quick, get them with a the quick up. Cookie crumbs on the floor in the bedroom? Quick, get them with a the quick up. Potato chips on the floor in the living room? You know what to use? The Eureka Quick Up Vacuum Cleaner. It's cordless, rechargeable, and mounts on the wall. There's no quicker way to get a mess. The Eureka Quick Up. It's cordless. The new Eureka Quick Up is available at all Kmart stores. A man never forgets the woman who made him feel like a million. Millionaire, cologne and aftershave. By men. If you've been holding off buying a newer used car, thinking it might leave you a little short for the holidays, Keen Buick may be able to help. Right now, Keen has a great selection, including our most popular century, starting at only $98.89. Get a Skyhawk at Keen for just $83.94. Now, to help make everybody in your family happy, you can register to win a package of toys just like this to be given away daily. The grand prize is a Buick Somerset Go-Kart. Keen Buick, Riverside Drive, Green Bay. In Italy, there are many ways to make the classic Italian pie, from blends of fine meats to the best cheeses, even poultry. Each recipe a closely guarded secret. In America, there is a special Italian pie. We call it Priazzo. You'll find it baked fresh each day, only at Pizza Hut. And that's all we intend to tell you. The shot you see is from the Goodyear airship Columbia. Their pilot is Dick Ash. Yes. The Columbia staff with a crew of 22, including five pilots. And 1985 marks the 60th consecutive year that the Goodyear blimp have flown over the Hollywood parades. And you're listening to the Parade of Carols by the Santa Ana Wind Senior Youth Band. And we're in Hollywood, California on a cold but very Christmassy evening. Here comes that holly jolly feeling again in a float my favorite float named for the big jolly snowman who symbolizes the american lung association's christmas seals fredericks of hollywood brings us this float to remind us of the glitter and glamour of hollywood that fredericks has been bringing to the entire country for four decades now, debbie allen american lung association honorary chairman a christmas seal chairperson is riding on this float she's become an international star as a dance teacher lydia grant with her husband, Norm Nixon, one of the stars of our Los Angeles Clippers, and their beautiful, beautiful little one sitting with them, too. Look for her. Did you mention about her new movie? That's right, with Richard Jojo Pryor. Jojo Dancer, yeah. Your Life is Calling. Debbie, on fame, your character teaches aspiring young dancers. As a successful choreographer and dancer, do you have any advice for them? Hi! Hello, well, hi, hello. Debbie. Hello. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody! <laughs> I don't think you quite heard me. I just asked if you had some, uh, possibly some advice to the young folks, young dancers aspiring to 
follow in your footsteps? Well, I would say to be very dedicated and to be very disciplined and to take care of your body and not to eat too much over Christmas. <laughs> oh, heck. <laughs> but we got a better message for the people out there. As a spokesperson for the American Lung Association, Norman and I want to say a few words to everybody. Is it Norman? First, we'd like to just say Merry Christmas. And as you begin your preparation for the holidays, please don't forget Christmas seals. Yeah, because Christmas seals help the American Lung Association to fight emphysema, asthma, air pollution, and smoking. And it's an American tradition. So everybody, don't forget to buy your Christmas seals. And Merry Christmas. Merry Thank Christmas you for to your you. dedication. Dude. And may the Clippers go on to win the World Championship. Yeah, Clippers! <laughs> You're now watching a group which has been named one of the top show bands in the country, the Banning High School Marching Pilots from Wilmington, California. According to their band director, James Woodson, the 120 members not only march and play instruments, they also sing and dance. I think we're in for a treat. Here they are directed by drum major Mike Floriani. By the way, Lee, Jane Kennedy is usually with us for the Hollywood Christmas Parade, but she couldn't make it this year. We'd like to take a moment to congratulate her and her husband, Bill Overton, on the arrival of their first daughter, Savannah Ray. She arrived on November 20th. Jane Kennedy, one of the classy ladies in this world yes, show business, and just a dynamite person. So congratulations to them for their new arrival. You're being entertained by the Banning High School Marching Pilots Band. You know what let's do right now? Let's go to the green room. Johnny Grant is there, and John, it's all yours. Hey, Bob, thank you very much. We are in the green room, and in just a moment, I'll be with one of the most popular young women in America today, Miss Rosanna Arquette. But first, I want to say hello to the parade chairman. He's the president of, Go of uh, uh, <laughs> I'm so excited, <laughs> almost said Golden West of a Western costume, Mr. John Golden. John? Thank you, Johnny Boy. At this, our eighth one together, is it not? Yes, it is. And each year, there seems to get larger and better and better. And I'm thrilled, no end, to be able to work with all these great volunteers to make this thing possible. Well, you, you've seen the first part of this parade. How do, you, how do you compare it with the others? I think it's by far the best we've ever had. Well, I must agree, and I, I know you want a chance now to say uh, a Merry Christmas to all of your colleagues in the business. Certainly. Merry Christmas to everyone. The best of all to all of you. Thank you. Here is a very lovely young lady over here that you have costumed, I'm sure. Rosanna, if you would come up real, real, please. How are you? Fine, are you? Great to see you. Rosanna Arquette has just finished a movie with uh, Jeff Bridges, Eight Million Ways to Die. But tonight we're thinking about living and having fun, aren't we? Yes, we are. I just want to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and may peace prevail on earth. If I, had the, uh, if I had the power to tell Santa Claus to bring you anything you wanted, what would you ask for? Uh, nuclear disarmament. Okay, that would be it. All right, Rosanna, thank you, and back to Bob and Lee. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, John. Bob Eubanks and Lee Merriweather at the 54th Annual Hollywood Christmas Parade. Uh, Carnation Company presents Gloria Gray's Save a Pet from the Pound for Christmas. Gloria joins with Carnation in urging you to visit your local shelter and adopt a pet now. Gloria Gray and Carnation Company wish you, your family, and your pets the happiest of holidays. And among Gloria's friends on this beautiful floater, Daniel Green, who's the newcomer, Dwayne Cooley, on CBS's Falcon Crest, and boy, the girl's going crazy. Heather O'Rourke, one of the stars of Poltergeist and the soon-to-be-released sequel, Poltergeist, The Other Side. Bo Kaiser is Brock Reynolds on The Young and the Restless. Bo, can you... This is Lee Merriweather up in the Hello, booth, Lee. along with Bob... Eubanks, uh, how can those of us who love animals make this a better Christmas for our pets? Oh, I just want to tell you a Merry Christmas to everyone. I brought my friends with me, Gloria Gray, Danny Green, Heather O'Rourke. i got a couple of two others here. This is Tinker and Pumpkin, and we want to remind everybody to go to their local shelter and save a pet from the pound for Christmas. And Danny? Danny, come on, say something. <laughs> Hi, Bob and Lee. It's a pleasure to be here. I've never been in a parade. I've always watched them, and this is truly exciting. On behalf of the rest of the gang at Falcon Crest, I wish, I'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and here's Heather. I just wish you all a happy, a happy New Year and a great, mer and a great Christmas. Thank Merry you, Merry Christmas Heather. to Merry all of you. Christmas to She's all my of new you. girlfriend. Yes, I can tell. <laughs> Thanks to the Carnation Company for their participation also. Oh, you know, no parade 
oh. of Hollywood celebrities would be complete without Perfecto and Den Wyson. And did you know that Perfecto was the first horse to have his own network special? It's a fact. Perfecto and Perfecto the Second have an impressive list of television screen credits, including guest appearances on Circus of the Stars. Sue Reason rides Perfecto the Second. Tonight she's wearing a beautiful white side saddle gown. And we're going to watch him right now. Come on, Perfecto, do your thing. The, look, at the, look at this. We're going to take a little bow. bow. <laughs> That's wonderful. The horse has had its own television special. Do you think <laughs> I've had my own television special? The <laughs> horse has. Thank, thank you, you Dan. so much for being with us this evening. <gasps> uh, thank you, Sue. Oh. Perfecto and Perfecto the second. Nice to have you with us. Look at the little guy. Uh -huh. Now let's welcome the Santa Cruz High School. Hi, Red Big Band, Big Red Band from Santa Cruz, California. Sylvester McElroy is the director of this group, which has captured over 300 awards in the past 10 years alone. The band, founded 60 years ago, boasts 120 members. Drum major Pat Sullivan is leading them now, so let's listen. Coming up, Ricky Schroeder, Heidi Bohe, Carrie Michelson, Laurie Hendler, and more. You don't have to pay for an Aaron Snow Throw this year. You don't have to pay for a new Aaron's Deluxe Snow Throw this year. You don't have to pay for a new Aaron Snow Throw tractor this year. You don't even have to pay for the new Aaron's ST2 Plus 2 this year. They're all included in Aaron's Power Charge Wait Till Next Year Deferred Payment Plan. Snow won't wait till next year, but with Aaron's, your payments can. See Silica Hardware Malone, Rutmeister Sports Center Green Bay, and Greenville Co-op Greenville. Loves introduces Baby Pants, the diaper with a comfort waistband. Baby Pants, you've got Love's comfy little baby pants. No other diaper really stands a chance. Baby Pants. Love's new comfort waistband moves with your baby, so it fits at the waist better than plain old diapers. Hallelujah, love sure has started something. And Love's new comfort waistband stops leaking better than ever before. Love sure has started something, baby. Loves the diaper with a comfort waistband. It fits just like a glove. That's why I fell in love with Love's new comfy baby pants. Merry Christmas. star in the comedy hit, I Dream of Jeannie. I Dream of Jeannie, weekdays at 12.30 on TV 32. WXGZ, TV 32, Appleton, Green Bay, Fox City. Which includes postage and handling to Celebrity Program, Post Office Box 2068, Hollywood, California, 90028. Bob, if, if, I'm, if I may, I'd like to correct something. I, I said the Santa Cruz, well, I'm going to say it right this time. Santa Cruz High Big Red Band. Hi, Big Red Band. And the direction of Sylvester McElroy. Well, I'll get it right. Look at that little the, face. Entertaining. Look at that face right there. <laughs> uh, I want to be young again, huh? Bob Eubanks and Lee Merriweather, we're in Hollywood, California for this, the 54th annual Hollywood Christmas Parade. And here's a pretty lady. 
Yes, it is. It's nice to have this lovely lady with us again. Beverly Gard Garland of CBS's Scarecrow and Mrs. King, riding in a 1970 old gold Regency. Like her character, Dottie West, Beverly likes to keep herself busy. She serves as honorary mayor of North Hollywood and is on the board of advisors for Toys for Tots. Beverly has also been honored with a star on the famous Hollywood Walk of Fame. Beverly, Merry Christmas to you, and it's nice to have you with us. Oh, thank you, and Merry Christmas to you. I'd like to just tell you, my, my son James and his friend Eden Acetrack and Fillmore and Carrington are not here tonight, but my family really wants, wants to wish everybody the merriest, the happiest, and the loveliest Christmas ever. Thank you very much, and thank also you. one of your cast members, Bruce Boxleitner, he and Kitty are new parents, and we want to congratulate them, too. Well, I just, I, I thought maybe they wouldn't be here tonight. This baby's about this big. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, Merry Christmas to you, Beverly, and thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you. You know, you can say that this next gentleman grew up right in our living rooms on the series Eight is Enough. He's Willie Ames, riding in a 1958 Ford retractable. His star is really on the rise. You can watch for him in a new Circus of the Stars, which will air this month. He also appeared in the syndicated series Star Games and is doing a new series with Hal Linden called Black's Magic, which is scheduled to become a mid-season replacement. Willie Ames. The parade has now come to, I think, a temporary stop as more than one million people line the boulevards of Sunset, Highland, and Hollywood Boulevards to watch this beautiful Christmas parade. What fun this is. You think we get paid to do this? That's what I think is so neat about this. <laughs> I mean, to see all these great characters. The best, best seat in the house, and there is an even better, better seat. You know, there are many stories about the derivation of the word blimp. Did you know that, Bob? Oh, no. I heard I'm one. I'm of this one. But, no, no, no. This is, this is genuine. How did blimp start? In 1915, yes. while touring an airship base, a British officer poked one of the gas bags with his thumb. He was rewarded with an odd echo. Later, he described the sound <laughs> of the bag. That Stop the, this. All right. That's the way blimp, blimp. He poked the gas bag, and that's... <laughs> Willie Ames. <laughs> I understand, Willie, that you did two acts on Circus of the Stars. Tell us about it. Well, I did a, a sway pole routine where I climbed to the top of an 80-foot pole and do handstands and things of that nature. And then I did a Risley routine, which is ground acrobatics with other people. And we do teeterboard and double back layouts mm -hmm. and backs with a full twist and things like that. I see insanity runs in your family, too. <laughs> and yours, <Absolutely. laughs> yes. And mine, too. Well, thank you for joining us. Thanks, Willie Ames. Thank, thank you. you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Oh, the Crystal Cathedral presents The Glory of Christmas, starring Debbie Boone as Mary and Dean Jones as the narrator, with three performances nightly at the Cathedral November 29th through December 21st. Over 170,000 are expected to attend this year's production. This is certainly a magnificent program, and you can count on Debbie Boone to um, light up the lives of those who see it. She, she has... Uh -huh. Oh, look. There she um, is. Do you know this happens in the cathedral itself? This lady is about, There's I would she. say, easily 70 feet over the heads of the people below her. She's an angel. She can do that. Yes, she can. Oh, she's magnificent. Debbie is a, a lady who has inspired many people with her gospel music and her appearances on stage and television. I might add that that was not Debbie that we saw no, as I the angel. That. No, <laughs> Debbie is on the float coming up. And with her will be Dean Jones. And of course, he's almost as well known among Disney fans as Mickey Mouse. He starred in many Disney films and, of course, a television series. And I saw him in the Broadway hit Company. It was wonderful. Debbie, I hope you can hear me wherever you are. Would you share your thoughts with us on this spirit of Christmas, please? Yeah, she's out of range yet. You know, and the gentleman with her is Dean Jones. And for those of us who are parents, how many, how many movies have we taken our kids to see this man star in? And I publicly would like to thank him, really. Debbie, tell us your Christmas message this year, would you please? I can't... I think I was just asked a question and I couldn't hear it over this music. They have to turn it down. <laughs> One minute. <laughs> we got to turn it down so I can hear. We just wanted to know there you are. your Christmas message. My Christmas message is the same message I think that anybody who believes in the Son of God as a Christmas gift is peace on earth and goodwill to men. And that man sitting next to you, Dean Jones, 
Dean, I just yes. thanked you, and I want to do it again for all of us who are parents for all the wonderful, wonderful hours of entertainment you've provided us. Thank you very much, Bob. Uh, this is wonderful music we have here, but it's, it's very difficult to hear you anyway. Thank you for... Hey, <laughs> wonderful. It's all silent. It's and quiet. It's silent night and quiet. And with that, we say Merry Christmas to you and have a Thank you. wonderful holiday season. Thank you for we, being with us. We already are. We're enjoying the glory of Christmas. And Merry Christmas to you, Lee and Bob. Thank you. Thank you, Debbie Boone and Dean Jones. We'd like to welcome two very special brothers, Matthew and Patrick Laberto, riding in a 1960 Edsel. They both worked for several seasons on Little House on the Prairie. Matthew recently finished an ABC movie for television called Shattered Spirits with Martin Sheen. And Patrick just finished one called Prince of Bel-Air, co-starring Mark Harmon. It's good to have them with us, too. Matthew and Patrick, we know you're brothers by adoption, and you're a very close family. Uh, you must have a very special family relationship, then, don't you? Yes, we do. It's... <laughs> it's extremely special. We love everyone in our family a lot because we weren't thrown together by chance. We were all sort of chosen to come together, so it seemed to work out very well. Yeah, we have a terrific family. I think I'm going to live home till I'm 35 years old. Build a little house in the back. <laughs> <laughs> and it's cheaper. Yes, that's true. No rent. <laughs> well, well, Merry Christmas to you, Matthew. Merry Christmas Matthew to you. Matthew Patrick, Merry thank Christmas. you for joining us. You hotel fans should recognize these two, Heidi Bohe and Michael Spound, also known as Megan and Dave Kendall. They're riding in a four-passenger Clinet. Now, Heidi has just finished a film which was shot behind the Iron Curtain called Those Golden Years. Michael has been very busy writing screenplays and preparing for his role in an upcoming play. And Michael and I just did a hotel together, which should be on pretty soon. I'm looking Very forward soon. to it. I yes. don't understand what that means. You did a hotel. Did well, a hotel. we did a hotel oh, together. Appeared on the show. Oh, really. oh, oh. <laughs> Hi, Lee. Hi, Bob. How are you? Hi, yes, it's wonderful How are to you? see you. Well, listen. Tell us. Tell us about the those golden years, Heidi. Is well, it? Well, it was a very, very interesting film in Budapest, Hungary, and. We want to wish everybody a merry, merry Christmas while we're out here. Thank you. Heidi Bohe and Michael Spound Merry Christmas, from Hotel. Bob and Lee. Merry Christmas to you. Bye-bye now. Look here. Here's the oh, man. Oh, yes. Bob's Big Boy Family Restaurant Salute the American Heart Association. They're fighting for your life. Thousands watching right now may live longer, happier lives because of Heart Association efforts. The American Heart Association thanks Bob's Big Boy Family Restaurants for their support. And that is Jack Jones and his wife, is. Kim, lending their support by being here with us tonight. And Jack, we understand that you and Mel Torme are planning a concert tour. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that, please? Well, we got one coming up in uh, February and uh, March and April. But I want to say one thing that I want one. I don't want much for Christmas. I just want a cure for heart disease, okay? Good That's idea. That's what we ask for, all of us together. And this we is my wife, Kim, and this is my dog, Petey. Her dog, Petey. <laughs> oh, her dog, not yours? Ours. Okay, that works. Merry Christmas to Merry you, Christmas. Jack. Kim, thank you for being with us. Thank you. Hey, Lee, the uh, tape is in the mail. Great. <laughs> Wonderful. We did a Jack Benny special That's showbiz together. talk, isn't it? Okay. Here's a group making their 25th appearance in the Hollywood Christmas Parade. The Porterville Panther Band from Porterville, California. The band 200 Strong played all over the country on their Porterville Salutes America tour. Their band director is Bug Schaffer. He's been with the group for the past 33 years. There's a man with a secure job. Let's listen as they play Sounds of Christmas, directed by drum major Lewis Gill from Porterville. California. Coming up, Rip Taylor, Joan Van Ark, Missy Gold, Santa Claus, and many more. You know, there are three things that help a man stay sexy. One of them is Javon Musk. The other two, well, I wouldn't say on television. <laughs> Joan Von Musk, we help American men stay sexy. The Kraft Company's never going to change their macaroni and cheese to cheese and macaroni. They don't have to. I started my own company. Katie's Cheese and Macaroni? Yep, and it's free or cheesy. Taste it. The Kraft is the cheesiest. Are you sure this isn't Kraft cheese and macaroni? Kraft macaroni and cheese has more cheese than any other brand. That's why it tastes the best. I thought so. Kraft cheese and macaroni, the cheesiest. I like 
like being warm when it snows and warm when it sleets and not having frozen feet. But I don't like panty lines, so I wear winter all warm, cozy pantyhose. This Christmas, get your kids a little magic at Hardee's. Just buy any sandwich, fries, and Coke, and you can get the magic of a classic Disney character for just $1.99. Lady, Bambi, Dumbo, Pinocchio, and one of the 101 Dalmatians. A different Disney character each week at Hardee's. Hardee's, During your hectic working day, you probably don't have time to worry about how clean your office is. That's what the professionals at Nivy Marie Maintenance are for. Their expert, highly trained personnel do more than just clean. They treat it as their own, with an uncanny attention to detail. Nivy Marie Maintenance, with 60 fully insured and bonded employees working in three states. If you want it done right, call us at Nivy Marie Maintenance, because we do it ourselves. Nivy Marie Maintenance, 314 West Wisconsin Avenue, Appleton. You're watching the 54th Annual Hollywood Christmas Parade with Bob Eubanks, Lee Merriweather, and a cast of millions lining the boulevard here in Southern California. Now these two lovely young ladies play sisters in NBC's Give Me a Break. They are Kari Michelson and Lori Hester. They're riding in a 1959 Cadillac El Dorado. Kari, who plays the oldest sister, began her career on stage when she was five. Lori is the middle sister, and a young lady who believes in taking every challenge. As a matter of fact, I understand she spent three weeks counting lions on a safari in Kenya last summer. <laughs> if you're going to count something, you might as well count oh, lions. Dear. I want to know, do TV sisters get along like real sisters do? I think, I think so, yes. Lori, I don't have any sisters, but Lori is uh, as close to sisters as I could get. I love her. I have a sister, and I get along real well with all four, all three of my oh, sisters. <laughs> my sister, the sister, and Laura Jill. Merry Christmas, everybody! Thank Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas to you, you. Kari and Lori. Thank you for being with us. Hey, we oh, know this guy likes to have fun. Denver sure Pyle, do. who portrayed Uncle Jesse in the Dukes of Hazzard. How are you, Bob and Lee? Hi, Hello. Uncle Jesse. How are you? What's happening? Denver, <laughs> things are looking good. I'll bet you have a great, big, wonderful country Christmas at your house, don't you? Oh, we sure do. For a do. I'd like to say Merry Christmas to all the... People down at the funny farm, old J.D. and, and <laughs> Nanu. Yeah. To my mama. Good. And Merry riding Christmas. with you, your lovely wife, Tippy, and your son, Cameron. So That's right. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you for being with us. Oh, now you fans of CBS's Daytime Soap Capital will recognize this lovely lady, Constance Towers. She's with John Convoy, executive producer of Capital. Constance has won critical acclaim for her roles in the musical theater, and she's just an incredible, gifted lady. Merry Christmas to you, John, and, and Constance. We'd also like to wish you and your husband, Ambassador John Gavin, a Merry Christmas. Will you be spending the holidays here or in Mexico? Well, I'm going to be spending a lot of the holidays here because we have some very special things coming up on Capitol, the show that I'm on, and Clarissa McCandless is almost to get married, but not quite. So uh -huh. I'm going to be here getting married most of the time. <laughs> well, welcome, and thank you for being thank you. with Merry us. Merry Christmas, Lee. Isn't she beautiful? It's nice to see producers, really, mm -hmm. riding in the parade. Yes, it is. Stephen Here's J. Cannell Productions <laughs> proudly salutes the YMCA of Metropolitan Los Angeles for their involvement with young men for over 100 years. And Stephen J. Cannell, and I know a lot of people say, no, 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 it's Cannell. It's not, folks. It's Stephen J. Cannell and his family are joined by boys from the YMCA celebrating family entertainment such as the A-Team, Hardcastle and McCormick, Riptide, Hunter, and The Last Precinct. And I got to tell you something, Stephen, you have sure made uh, a lot of people happy with all of your television shows. And why don't you tell us a little bit about your special friends from the YMCA? Well, we're, uh, we're very happy to be with the YMCA tonight, and we want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. I'd like to introduce my family. Please do. This is my wife, Marsha, my daughter, Chelsea, my daughter, Tanya, and my son, Cody. Where's Cody? Hiding over there on the other oh, side. Oh, there he is. <laughs> right behind the tree. <laughs> well, once again, may we publicly thank you for all of the many hours of wonderful entertainment you've provided all of us. 
Thank you. Thank you. Merry Stephen Christmas. Stephen J. Cannell Productions, Mr. Stephen Cannell and his family. And these lovely ladies are from CBS's Daytime Soap Capital also. They are Karen Kelly and Dawn Parrish. They're riding in a 1953 Packard. When she's not busy with Capital, Karen plays softball, I understand it, with the Hollywood cover girls. Dawn's career has taken her from Snow White to the Evil Witch, as she <laughs> refers to her Capital <laughs> character. <laughs> ladies, what are your feelings about this time of the year? Oh, how can you not feel anything but happiness, cheer, fun, fun, presents. Presents. <laughs> yeah, we want to wish everybody a really wonderful holiday. Yeah, I would also like to say hi to my mom and my grandma and the rest of my family, and Ryan and Shane and Frank and Frida. Well, I'm sure that they'll all be pleased to hear from you, and thank you for being with us. Merry Christmas to Merry you. Merry Christmas. Uh-oh, one of my favorite <laughs> crazy guys. Here he is, Rip Taylor. He's a man who says he always has been second banana and likes it that way. He's a regular on NBC's <laughs> Battle Stars, is scheduled to become an irregular regular on the new oh. game show Break the Bank. And to top all of that, he finds time to cook, and I wouldn't want to eat anything that he cooks. Look at that. Look at what he's doing. He's a crazy person is what he is. Try the microphone, Rip. Do that for me. There Hello, you. Bobby and Lee. How are you, baby? Hello, my dear. Don't call me Bobby. No, wh why not? Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Hiya, Bob. Thank you. Oh, God, he's being butch all of a sudden. <laughs> I made this myself. <laughs> Is that your Christmas confetti uh, yes, here? Yes, please. I see. Bye-bye, oh, my darling. The Merry coat, Christmas to all you. All my hair pieces sewn together. Hey, Merry that Christmas. That looks very nice. Merry Christmas. Let's have a fun tonight. Come on, Hollywood. Tip the pound. Thank you, Rip. Bye-bye, <laughs> Bob. Bye-bye, you know, we will always think of this lovely lady as Miss Kitty from the series Gunsmoke. She's Amanda Blake, riding in a grand Victorian carriage. There she is. Yeah. There is. Amanda is a very busy lady. She just finished a pilot called Summit County with our own Lee Merriweather. Congratulations. <laughs> and did a special for CBS called The Wildest West Show of the Stars, which airs Hi. in May. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Bob. Hi, Lee. How are things in Summit County? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you, and thank Merry you for Christmas. being with us. Merry Christmas. Bless your heart. She's received the American Cancer Society Courage Award from President Reagan. She's a wonderful lady. Here comes another band. Ah, oh, yes. This group is celebrating its 45th anniversary this year, the Coachella Valley High School Arab Marching Band from Thermal, California. Band director Guillermo Mendoza, Jr. tells it that this has been the band's most successful year. They took home more awards than ever before and participated in last summer's uh, Olympic Games. They're playing right now, and they have directed by drum major Jerry Mota. Coming up, Jack Rambo, Adrian Zmed, and Santa Claus. Insect crumbs on the floor in the kitchen? Quick, get them with a quick up. Cookie crumbs on the floor in the bedroom? Quick, get them with a quick up. Potato chips on the floor in the living room? You know what to use? The Eureka Quick Up Vacuum Cleaner. It's cordless, rechargeable, and mounts on the wall. There's no quicker way to get a mess. The Eureka Quick Up. It's cordless. The new Eureka Quick Up is available at all Kmart stores. Hey, you're right. And the simpler I make my life, the happier I am. I went to the gym, came home, and colored my hair. It was nice and easy. You thought it was my natural color? I can't believe you didn't know. Well, thanks. Bill says it feels great. I think it feels like silk. It's got to go. Bill's family's coming for dinner. Yeah, the whole family. <laughs> How can I sound so relaxed? Mm. Nice and easy. That's my style. Original ragu for me. We ragu with extra garlic for my husband, Sal. And for Sal Jr. with extra cheese. Now everybody's happy. Christmas means so many things to so many people, but one of the oldest and most remembered holiday traditions is the poinsettia. Grow Plant in Oshkosh has an impressive display of colorful, healthy poinsettias starting at just $1.99. Plus, see their wide selection of flocked Christmas centerpieces, wreaths, trees, and ornaments, as well as their beautiful specialty centerpieces. Santa will visit Grow Plant on the first two weekends in December. Your children will love the free sleigh rides. So enjoy four days of fun and shop indoors in the all-newly expanded Santa shop at Grow Plant. Highway 41 and 45, Frontage Road, Oshkosh. Gosh. The quality of good merchandise still shines through years from now. 
guaranteed by Conan Furniture and Appliance in Manitowoc. We stopped our house for dessert. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas, Christmas to both you. of you. You know, Christmas Bye -bye. is for kids, and Los Angeles radio station Magic 106 plays Santa to the annual United States Marine Corps Toys for Tots campaign with a float full of tots and wonderful stuffed animals from California stuffed toys. Robert W. Morgan, the man who kids around every Morgan on Magic 106, goes along for the Merry Christmas ride with his daughter Susanna. And Robert, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to Susanna. I want to know what she wants wants for Christmas? Oh, for Christmas I'd like my braces off. Oh, <laughs> you mean your dad's? Oh, yours. <laughs> I guess, uh, uh, no, I've already had mine off, Bob. Oh. I, I think we're going to have to leave it up to Santa unless I can arrange for a, a pair of pliers uh, in the stocking, what do you think? Well, you're right. But for those of us who live in Southern California, we're treated to the talents of Robert W. Morgan every morning at Magic 106. And tell us about Christmas at the Morgan household. Well, I'll tell you, uh, Hollywood, of course, Bob, as you know, is a great place to be any time of year. But every Christmas time, I, my thoughts go back to as a kid to growing up in Galleon, Ohio, and sitting around Christmas morning and opening those presents. And I was thinking today, and I can't remember any of those presents, but I can sure remember the, the smiles of my mom and dad and my brother's faces. And that's what it's all about. And I hope everybody gets to go home for the holidays, at least in their heart. In their thank faces. you very much. And we'll see you tomorrow, Morgan. And thank you for being a part of Toys for Tots campaign. There's a familiar oh, face. Oh, yes, it certainly is. Leading this group is veteran Los Angeles newsman George Putnam. Oh, he is riding a Palomino called Nugget. Shirley Reese is wearing a, a red sequin gown that weighs 12 pounds, I understand. Y Yvonne Camarena is riding side saddle in a beautiful dress that she made herself. And aboard her Palomino Bruce is Pamela Mee Davis. She's wearing a red satin Spanish costume. And from Huntington Beach comes Mike Perez, tonight dressed as a Spanish don. Mike, I understand, has been competing for 11 years. My goodness, those costumes are He's a are legend. Gorgeous. Mr. Putnam George, is a legend. George, thank you for community. being with us. Okay, we all know this lovely lady, Valerie Harper, riding with the cast of her new NBC series, Valerie. Joining her are Josh Taylor, Jason Bateman, Danny Ponce, and Jeremy Licht. And they're riding in a 1983 Fantasy Island car, LeBaron Convertible. Josh is Valerie's pilot husband, Michael Hogan, on the series. And Jason, Jeremy, and Danny are their three rambunctious sons. So welcome, folks. Valerie, I know you're very involved with life. Love is feeding everyone. That's can, right, you, can you tell us a little bit about the plans for this holiday season? Yes, the May Company uh, very thankfully has uh, put bins in each of their stores, 35 stores all around the Southland, collecting food. So any time anyone wants to come to share with hungry Los Angelinos, they can drop off non-perishable food there. And Lee, thanks for your support of this. Thank you very much, Valerie, Josh, Jason, Thank Jeremy, you. and Danny. Happy holidays. Happy and holidays to you. to you, dear. Oh, now a young man who has been in show business since he was three months old. Do you believe that? Ricky Schroeder, star of NBC Silver Spoons, is riding with his family in a 1965 Chevrolet. He has a Golden Globe Award, and he finds time to be spokesperson for the National Center for the Missing and Exploited Children. Ricky, we are wondering if you have a special... Christmas message for all your young fans. Well, um, my personal Christmas message, message is uh, my cousin was abducted a few months ago, and um, she hasn't been back with her families for over a year now, and I hope she's found, and I hope all the families and everybody's together for Christmas and have a great time. Thank you. Thank you, Ricky. Thank you, Ricky. Faces International, the world's leading talent marketing magazine responsible for launching careers in acting, modeling, and commercials, salutes Find the Children. Faces International hopes everyone watching will join them in the search for thousands of missing children. Writing on this float are several successful Faces International clients. They're joined by the lovely Martha Smith from CBS's Scarecrow and Mrs. King. And this is a lady who likes to do things that are new and different. She co-starred in the outrageous comedy Animal House as the sexy cheerleader Babs Jensen. And she has a greeting card company called Tickled Pink Ink. And I also understand that she's into palmistry. Is that right, Maggie? You, you read palms? That's right, I read palms. Bob. I want to know about this, because... I, I, can you see my palm? Oh, it looks great from here. <laughs> oh, I'm tell me, lifeline. <laughs> what am I going to get for Christmas? What am I going to get for Christmas? Tell me. Uh, you're going to get your Christmas gift of your dreams. I can't quite see it from here. Put it up a little higher. <laughs> a new car. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Maggie. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. 
Uh, one of my favorite police shows, if you haven't guessed already, is T.J. Hooker, and we're pleased to welcome another of its stars, Adrian Zemet. Adrian also hosts the popular show Dance Fever. The four lovely dancers, I understand, riding with him uh, in a 1959 Cadillac are the Dance Fever dancers. His love of music made him a natural, I guess, to host the show. He'll soon be able to buy his album, which he describes as a hard-edged, head-on rock and roll. Adrian! I know uh, no matter how busy you get, your family is first and foremost. That must mean that the holidays are really special time for you, right? Oh, absolutely, Lee. Absolutely. We all have a holiday message here. First, the girls want to say something. Happy holidays and welcome to New Year! That's from the girls <laughs> and from me. I just want to say that everybody's going to be partaking in a lot of holiday cheer these holidays, and I want everybody to know that they should watch out what they're doing when they go out and drinking and driving. Please, be very careful and make it a happy, safe holiday. Thank you, Adrian. Thank you, Adrian. A wise statement, I must say. Let's welcome the John F. Kennedy Marching Band and Color Guard from Sacramento, California, under the direction of Brad North, who tells us that this band has traveled to 36 states, several foreign countries for performances and competitions, and they've taken home many awards, too. Let's listen as drum majors Tommy Yamamoto and Mark Henderson lead them in the Deste Fidelis. Victor French and more. <laughs> a nice walk with my best friend. What more could a dog want? Uh, the ultimate biscuit? Nice, but we'd rather have original jerky treats. How about some of our favorite playmates? Nah, we'd rather have jerky treats. All oh, right, jerky treats. What a friend. More dogs would rather have the real new taste of original jerky treats than just about anything. Yeah, I know what you're thinking, but believe me, nothing beats jerky treats. What's this? It sure is an our macaroni and cheese. Presenting Velveeta shells and cheese dinners. Why did mommy switch? Velveeta shells and cheese dinners taste creamier because we start with creamy Velveeta cheese sauce, not a powder. We like to roll macaroni and cheese. With pasta shells that hold on to that creamy Velveeta. This tastes creamier than our old macaroni and cheese. I hope you learned your lesson. Velveeta shells and cheese dinners taste creamier than the rest because it's Velveeta. Next, hi Artie, on Stasky and Hutch. Ah! Artie, I'm going upstairs now. And I'm gonna give your boyfriend a suck treatment, and then I'm coming down here and I'm gonna talk to you. Gary Sandy's a psychotic killer for hire. I want that blonde cop down in the street looking up at me. Don't get excited. It's only flat on the bottom. This is Paul Michael Glazer. Don't miss Vendetta. Starsky and Hutch, Monday night at 9 on TV 32. War. It starts out looking glamorous, but loses its color with the first shot of a gun. And those daring soldiers wake up to find out that it's all too real. It's war. Ask the brave just what they expected, and they'll tell you... I didn't expect anything. TV 32 is saluting those brave men and women with movies that are... A knocker. Hello, Joe. Monday night at 11 on TV 32. as performed by the John F. Kennedy Marching Band and Color Guard. Bob Eubanks and Lee Merriweather, there you see the shot from high above Hollywood, California, from the Goodyear ship Columbia. Where our pilot, Dick Esch. This is Rocky Star Talia Shire. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. This is Rocky <laughs> Star Talia Shire giving us a taste of her upcoming film, Rad. This is going to be an exciting film. She's surrounded by some of the trick bike riders who make up Rad, the ultimate dramatic adventure film about BMX and freestyle bike riding. Look at these guys. They are just absolutely unbelievable. And, and it's, a, it's oh, just dear. a... I had a chance to see part of the picture in the screening room one day, and some of the shots are just, they're just sensational. <laughs> Director Hal Needham has really outdone himself with this film. The gentleman riding with Taya 
1974 Buick LeSabre is Olympic gold medalist Bart Connor, who makes his film debut in Rad. Merry Christmas, Talia and Bart. Merry Christmas. We're happy to be here. Oh, well, it's a happiness for us to see you. I, I did a parade with the brand. Did I mean, you really? Yes, uh-huh. I'm jealous. <laughs> then I'll do one with Talia, so there. <laughs> we know that Rad won't be out for several months, yet you're out promoting it already, I know. What is it about this film that has you both so excited? Well, first of all, of course, you know, after my gymnastic career, I was very interested in getting involved in acting, and I was delighted to be able to work with Talia and Talia Films and, of course, Hal Needham. Jack Weston, Ray Walston, Bill Allen, Lori Laughlin, a lot of great people on Rad. It should be out Easter time, and we're really looking forward to it. Good. Rad, naturally, is the word for radical, which is the big new word, and, and those guys that are riding those bicycles around you are just sensational. Good luck to you. Thank you. Merry Christmas yeah. to you. Here's Iron Eyes. It is always a pleasure to have this dedicated gentleman with us. Iron Eyes Cody has been a part of the Hollywood Christmas Parade 31 times. This year, as you write, he rides in a 1954 Packard. Iron Eyes first rode in this parade in 19... 1937. Wow. I'm sure there are many, many Christmas traditions that are observed on the Indian Reservation, Iron Eyes. What is your favorite one? Well, as you know, the Litton industry and myself were going on 13 years. We just delivered a lot of turkeys and food to the Papago tribe up there in uh, Arizona, and the Numa there, the Kakpo tribe. And we help all of the handicapped kids, and that's what I'm doing this year. Thank you very much. Thank you, Iron Eyes. Thank you, Iron Eyes. Thank you for being with us. Talking about the Papago Indians from Sells, Arizona. I had the pleasure of joining them down once before. Marshal George Jakes and Tonga lead this Western equestrian group. Riding with him in the fancy Western costume and his daughter Nancy. The gentleman in teal blue is Andy Dixon. He's riding bronze button G. And there's D.O. Rogers from Bakersfield. He's one of the top horsemen who has collected over 200 trophies in his past 15 years. Ernest Patton is in blue. They all came from Los Vegas to be with us tonight, and we're very glad they did. And Las Vegas is the new home of the uh, Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association National Finals Rodeo, which will be there in Las Vegas for the next five years. Uh, we're glad they came all the way down to join us. This lovely lady riding in a 1962 Thunderbird is Marky Post of NBC's Night Court. You may also remember her as Terry Michaels from Fall Guy. At one time, she was asked by a game show producer, I can't believe this, to stop competing as a, con a contestant and work as a researcher. Marky took the job, but she kept acting on the side. And ironically, her first break was an appearance on a game show that I did, Masquerade Party. Did you uh, really? Yes, I did. Oh, well, hi. No one's ever asked me not to do game shows, and I'm glad. Where's the name <laughs> well, Marky realize. come from? Oh, my real name is Marjorie. My brother couldn't pronounce it when I was born, so I've been Marky. My kids call me Bum because they couldn't pronounce Bob, so I understand. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys tonight? Just fine. We're Merry fine. Christmas to you. Thank you, you Marky, too. for being with us. Oh, thank you so much. I would like to say one thing. Sure. I, un I understand that uh, 86 countries are going to be seeing this parade to our, our, our uh, armed forces in, the, in uh, 86 countries, and I want to wish everyone a very, very peaceful Christmas. What a good thank idea. You. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Bye -bye. Thank you. That's Marky Post. Now, Night outside court. of my two lovely daughters, Kyle and Leslie, I think these are three of the prettiest sisters I have ever seen. This is Missy, Tracy, and Brandy Gold riding in a 1958 Mercury. You can see Missy every week as Katie, the governor's daughter on ABC's ben Benson. Tracy is Carol in ABC's Growing Pains. And look for Brandy in a new film with Goldie Hawn called Wildcats. Hello there, youngsters. How, how is your Christmas shaping up? Terrific. We're having a really good time. We're with our family, and it's really great. Merry well, Christmas Merry to Christmas you. Merry Christmas to you, and thanks for being with us. Thank well, you. The Happy holidays. Are, thank you. The Happy residuals in their mailbox must I be know. something, you know. Wonderful. Riding in a 1909 <laughs> Model T touring car is Dak Rambo, the newest member of the cast of CBS's Dallas, and recently voted one of television's top ten hunks. Didn't you receive that honor one year, Bob? Uh, top ten bunks was what oh, I Oh, that's what uh, it was. Dak says he came to Hollywood from, <laughs> from his family farm. I know where it is. Delano, right, Dak? Delano. That's right. And we go back a long ways, my friend. Merry Christmas to you. Long, Merry Christmas to you. And Lee, Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you, Dad. And I want to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas and a happy, happy New Year. And I hope they're as lucky as I am to be able to spend it with their family this year. Boy, congratulations on your success. You really deserve it, really. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Nice bye -bye. to see you again. Uh,
Ah, now this group, dressed in Scottish attire, is from Simi Valley, California, the Royal High School Marching Band. They have performed at Los Angeles' Dodgers and Rams games, and band director Dan Taguchi tells us that they are the 1984 Olympic Band and Drill Team Champions. Not too bad. <laughs> exactly. Let's hear the sounds of Christmas in Killarney, shall we? Let's listen as drum major Chad Lorty directs the Royal High School marching band. Coming up, Santa Claus, Jenny Lee Harrison, Claude Akins, and Betty Moore. If you're looking for a dust buster vac, Beware the imposter. The youth setting a good example for youth. That's the theme of the Happiness Club float, sponsored by the Concerned Businessmen's Association of America. Happiness Clubs build strong moral characters for youth through activities based on the common sense values in the Way to Happiness book. Riding on the Happiness Club float are winners of the first national Set a Good Example contest. And their three celebrity friends are Albert Haig of fame, Joey Lawrence of NBC's Give Me a Break, and his younger brother Matthew, who starred as Danny Carrington on Dynasty. We're glad to have you all with us this evening. Joy, do you give Matthew tips on his acting? Sometimes. <laughs> Does he listen to you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Albert Haig, thank you for being with us. It's good to see you. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you, Lee. And our thanks to the Concerned Businessmen's Association of America, the Happiness Club. Here's a good friend. Ah, uh, he's the only sheriff who doesn't go anywhere without his golf clubs. Claude Aikens riding in a 1957 Ford Retractable. Of course, uh, he's our favorite lawman in the comedy series Sheriff Lobo, and of course he has tons of credits in television movies. And a good golf game. Yeah, oh, yes. We know you're involved in quite a few charity golf tournaments. Are there any plans for the near future, Claude? Oh, some more of them coming up. Nothing specific. What's your handicap? Uh, my swing. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I know the feeling. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Claude. Thanks. I would just like to give a general peace on earth to all men and also a specific Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to my mother. Just Thank you very much. Happy New Year. There are three generations riding together on these beautiful Peruvian Paso horses. Stuart Hamlin, host of the nationally syndicated radio program Cowboy Church. His wife Susie, their daughter Lisa Jazare, and her children Christopher and Kim. Lisa Design, their colorful Peruvian style costumes. And Stuart, I wonder if we could get the gang to show us these beautiful Peruvian horses and let's watch them move. Can we do that? Here we go. Watch these horses now. Once again, here's a horse that's been bred, and it's a natural gait. If it's a full-blooded mare and sire, the little horses are born with that gait. It's not a man-taught gait. That's something? Their costumes barely move. Stuart Hamlet. A Christmas greeting from the Coca-Cola Bottling Company of Los Angeles. May the holidays bring you joy and happiness. Coke is proud to support the Boy Scouts of America and its new Varsity Scouts, a program for the inner city. Riding on this float is Rene Enriquez, one of the one and only Captain Ray Cayetano of NBC's Hill Street Blues. He's accompanied this evening by Irma Hansen. Rene has many television, film, and stage credits, but he is especially proud to be a part of Hill Street, and we're proud to have him here this you evening. You bet we are. Rene, we know you spend a lot of time working for the benefit of the Hispanic community. Do you have a special Christmas message? And, and let me try it. Feliz Navidad. How'd I do? Muchas gracias, Bob and Lee. Merry Christmas to everyone and peace in the world. And to my fellow Hispanics, paz en el mundo, especialmente en Central America, in Nicaragua. And remember, Giving is receiving. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Mm. Felicidades a todos los latinoamericanos. I meant to say that. I just couldn't get it out. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at the balloons. Ah, uh, yes, that's lovely. Ah, uh, here's a couple of friends. Lindsay Bloom. Riding with her husband, Maeve Nutter, in a 1959 Edsel convertible, Lindsay was Super Secretary Velda on the Mike Hamner yeah. series. She'll be returning to that role in a two-hour special called The Return of Mike <laughs> Hamner, which will air in January. Right. And her husband, Maeve, well, he's a country music star. He <laughs> writes music for all kinds of television. He's a good actor. And Lindsay and Maeve, how nice to see you again. Hi, you guys. Merry Christmas. Happy Thank you. New Year. Merry What's going to happen at your house? You. Well, we're all excited to be returning to my, ca my camera family all together right. this holiday season. And I want to thank everybody for writing into CBS to get us back on the air. We're glad you're back. 
Yeah, I want to say thank you to all the folks in West Virginia who are being real neighbors and friends and helping each other in that flood situation back there. Thank you, Major I'll see Lindsay. him for the telethon. Merry Christmas. What time's dinner? <laughs> Four o'clock. No, we have one at three, we have one at six. Okay, we'll be there. Oh, now here, thank it's you. a pleasure to welcome the stars of the new syndicated series, What's it, it Happening it Now. Those of you who are fans of What's Happening will recognize Rerun, Fred Berry, Shirley, Shirley Ann Hempel, Dwayne, Haywood Nelson, and Roger Ernest Thomas. Now, the two uh, new faces are Anne Marie Johnson and Raina King. Give us a What's Welcome. Happening Christmas, will you? Hey, thank you. Thank you very much. We're nice. It's good to have you back on television. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry thank Christmas you. to you all. Okay, here we have the Scarlet Brigade Band from Fairfield High School in Fairfield, California. A friendly looking group considering their motto is, Under the sign we shall conquer. <laughs> According to their band director, Russell Campbell, it's the competition they like to conquer. And they did a good job for that last year, taking home 10 awards. They're led by drum major Mackie Thomas. They're entertaining us with their own Christmas medley. And here they are, the Fairfield High School Scarlet Brigade Band. Let's listen to them. Earl Holloman, Joanne Worley, Thelma Hopkins, and Santa Claus. I feel horrible. If I take comp tricks for this awful cold... Well, that's all right, dear. Awful pet foods and actors and others for animals wants to remind you that Christmas is not only a time to show goodwill toward men, but toward man's best friends as well. Now we have the president of Actors and Others for Animal, Earl Holloman, the secretary, Jody Mann, two of the board members, funny lady, Joanne Worley. That's not Joanne oh, right there. Is though. that Roger? They did. No, no, it's not even Roger. Oh. There they are. Jody, Roger Perry Jody Mann, of Falcon Crest and Facts of Life. And Tom Hatton. Tom hosts, you know, two of KTLA's weekend shows, Family Film Festival and Popeye and That's His Friends. Earl, tell us what we can do to make it a happier holiday for our animals. Well, for one thing, we can go to the pounds. We got a lot of, we got a, where are you? So We're here. up here. Here we are. Here we are. That's all right. <laughs> we got a lot of animals that need homes for Christmas. A lot of a lot of animals in the shelters. The dogs, the cats. You know, Joanne wants to say hello. Oh, hi, hello. Joanne. <laughs> Merry Christmas. A dog, a dog for Christmas. Merry Christmas to you all, and thank you Bye -bye. for helping us. Procter & Gamble proudly presents Christina Jensen, Miss Hollywood, 1985, and her royal court. These lovely ladies were discovered in the very first Miss Hollywood pageant televised earlier this year on ABC. Each hopes to become a star in the true Hollywood tradition. Christina Jensen was crowned Miss Hollywood on the May 1st of this year, and the lovely ladies in her court are Gabby Rossi, Teresa uh, Kablan, Nicole Kramer, and Veronica Davies. And Nicole Kramer's father is one of the top publicists in this town, David Kramer, a good friend of mine. And uh, what a pretty court you have. Christina, you and your court are just lovely. Do you have a Christmas greeting to share with us? Sure do. They all want to wish you a very Merry Christmas. Say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you. Congratulations. Merry Christmas. Thank you very much. Do you know in the background I hear? I do. Yes, it is. It's great to have the Notre Dame High School Irish Night Band from Sherman Oaks, California with us this evening. Within the past year, the group has performed for President Reagan, California Governor Duke Magian, and at the Notre Dame USC football game. And Bob... What? Do you hear what I hear? What do you hear? Oh, no, it's not the Notre Dame Victory March. It's their own arrangement of Victor Herbert's March of the Toys, led by drum major Walter Stewart. Coming up, Santa Claus and more. There's a nice hot way to spice up your day. Mexican Melvina is here. Make your enchiladas a little bit hotter. With the peppery cheese blend of the year. Mexican Melvina processed cheese spreads just right. For giving a nacho a real macho bite. With Mexican Melvina, you'll say. For peppers and cheese specially blended to please. There's no single cheese hot or mild like Mexican Velveeta. Ah, 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 ah,
from Laguna Nagel. Dick S., the pilot of the Goodyear Blip tonight, Columbia. Merry Christmas, Dick, if you can hear us. The March of the Toys, performed by the Notre Dame High School Irish Night Band. They're heading west on Sunset Boulevard to Highland, then north on Highland to Hollywood Boulevard, and back east to Bronson. For those of you familiar with Southern California, over a million people have lined the boulevards tonight to watch the 54th annual Hollywood Christmas Parade. K-Earth 101 FM is featuring the classics of rock and roll. On air personality Brian Byrne, known to Southern California as Mr. Rock and Roll, and some legendary superstar lookalikes. Elvis Presley, Buddy Holly, The Supremes, and this guy, he knows a lot about music. That's all I can tell you. Brian, can you hear me? I sure can. Okay, you've got 26,000 records, right? Uh, no, actually 40,000 records. 40,000? 40, 40,000. Let me test your memory. Back in the 60s, there was a hit record called This Time We're Really Breaking Up. Who was the artist? Uh, Troy Shondell. You did it. Darn, I thought I would get you. <laughs> I really thought I had you. K Earth 101, Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. God Talk bless. On. I didn't think I would get you. <laughs> I, I oh, it's such I fun when you're caught. I was the only one that caught. knew that. Oh, I love it. <laughs> we would like to welcome oh, the Diamond Bar High School Marching Band under the direction of Scott McIntyre. This talented group has managed to capture 57 awards in only three years of competition. Rather impressive, wouldn't you say, Bob? I would say so. Mm -hmm. Why don't we listen as their drum major, Todd Kissam, directs their version of Frosty the Snowman. We'd like to take a moment and thank our executive producer, Johnny Grant, for all of his work on the Hollywood Christmas Parade. Yes, As honorary mayor of Hollywood and chairman of the Walk of Fame Committee, he helps choose and then present the prestigious Walk of Fame stars. So thank you, Johnny Grant, for helping to make this wonderful evening possible. You're some kind of a guy. And you're listening to Frosty the Snowman, performed by the 142 members of the Diamond Bar High School Marching Band. You know, Lee, the Hollywood Christmas Parade has quite a tradition behind it. It was in 1933 that this parade started to look a little like it does today. There were bands and movie stars, equestrian teams, city and county officials, and so on. But in 1933, the beginning of the parade was as spectacular as the parade itself. An actress by the name of Patricia Ellis pulled an electrical switch, and all of the trees and decorations along Santa Claus Lane were lighted. And it used to be called the Santa Claus Lane Parade. Until 1978, at that time, it became the Hollywood Christmas Parade, as it is now. And this is the 54th annual Hollywood Parade. A lady who prides herself on being an actress and a singer is Telma Hopkins, also known as Dr. Addie Wilson on NBC's Give, Give Me a Break. She's riding a 1951 Mercedes-Benz. Telma began her career as a singer and was one-third of the pop group Tony Orlando and Dawn. Now she's making her film debut this year in Empire Pictures Features Trancers. Telma, why don't you introduce those with you and tell us about your Christmas. Well, Christmas is a time of sharing, and I'm sharing with someone I care about. This is Bobby. And I'd like to say hi to my son, Gerald, who couldn't be with us, and to remind all of you that Christmas is a time of sharing, and we shouldn't forget that that's what we have most to give. How are you guys doing? Oh, we're doing, doing wonderfully great. well, that's Thank Isn't this you. wonderful? Yes, it is. It's it very is. exciting. Merry Christmas to you all. Oh, thank you. And you thank better you. look out behind you, because Monty Montana is oh. about to rope someone. Well, I hope it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think he... He rode in the very first Hollywood Christmas Parade with Buck Jones, didn't he? And Let here me, yes, he is with us tonight. Let me Star tell you, this is a class Picture. gentleman. He's, a, he's the, the hero of many, many young uh, lady and gentlemen. And Monty Montana. Uh, from Hello, Monty. He roped the cameraman, Monty. Go ahead. Can roped the cameraman, it? but don't Oops. hurt him. <laughs> Watch him. He is. This man can make a rope do anything, including... Wrap around his horse's nose. I want you to rope the cameraman, Monty, because... Have you ever tried that, Bob? Well, roping a cameraman? Uh-huh. No, never have. No. I roped two camera women. <gasps> Look at that. Got it. He did. Roped his lens. <laughs> That's marvelous. Thanks, Monty. Merry Christmas to you. And hot on Monty's heels, the posse. 
In this case, it's the Santa Barbara County Silver Mounted Sheriff's Posse, formed in 1964 and led by their captain, Bill Weir. The posse has performed in parades and shows all over Southern California. Santa Barbara County is the home of many celebrities, including our President Ronald Reagan, uh, John and Bo Derek, Jimmy Connors. Uh, they have wonderful, wonderful uh, horse ranches up there. And, of course, it's the home of the Pepper Tree Ranch Western Americana Art Show in Santa Ynez. It's also where Solvane is. Thank you, gentlemen. Oh, here comes one of my favorite gentlemen, uh, Bill Wells. The Hollywood Christmas <laughs> Parade has become a holiday tradition here in Los Angeles. And these two gentlemen are members of the group who helped to bring it to you. This is Bill Welch, president of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, and Stan Spiro, who is the chairman of the board of the chamber. And they're riding in a 1978 Oldsmobile. Gentlemen, this is Lee Merriweather up here with Bob Eubanks. Welcome to our parade. Gentlemen, what is the chamber planning to do this year to help keep the glamour of Hollywood alive? Well, Lee and uh, Bob, we have a wonderful community redevelopment project coming. It'll get underway about the middle of the year. We're going to make this into an exciting place with a lot of new facilities. And I want to put Stan on here to wish you a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Lee and Bob. And Merry your, Christmas, Stan. And all your fine viewers. We hope everyone in the viewing audience will come out and see us in Hollywood this year and in 1986. Happy holidays. Thank you. For those of us who live in Southern California, we know that Bill Welch is a legend in this community. He's been on television for many, many years. And it's nice to have him with us. All right. Oh, look, Bob. The Long Beach Junior Concert Band joins us again playing an old favorite. What is it? I think. I'm waiting to hear what it is. I want to know. Here comes oh. Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Look at that. Oh, look at the kids. Oh. oh, that's I'm sure you know that Here Comes Santa Claus was popularized by Gene Autry in 1934. Oh, yes. He was actually inspired to write it after his appearance in the Hollywood Christmas Parade when he heard the kids along the street yelling, Here Comes Santa Claus! Here Comes Santa Claus! So Gene Autry wrote the tune. It became a million-selling hit record for him. We all sing it still. And this year, it literally means what? here comes Santa Claus no. because right behind him is Santa himself. This is what I've been waiting for the whole parade. I know you have. <laughs> I really get to see it from up here. This is your first time seeing first Santa time? Claus from here. Yes. Oh, this right. is wonderful. Look at all those anxious faces light up because this is the moment we've all been waiting for. The membership of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce is proud to sponsor, through contributions, the 1985 Santa Claus floats. Oh, and they are grateful for the opportunity opportunity to bring the world a parade that is truly indicative of Hollywood and the glamour it represents. Season's greetings to all of you from the membership of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. Oh, there he is. Oh. Santa. Oh, he's wonderful. He is absolutely glorious. Merry Christmas, Santa. Merry Christmas, Santa. Can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, that's wonderful. This is Lee Merriweather up here in the booth with Bob Eubanks. We've been awaiting your arrival for two <laughs> What is your your message to the children, Alana, and to me, too? I'm here. I'm so glad to be here, and I want to wish everybody, especially the children, a happy, happy Christmas, and I'll see you Christmas Eve. Your nose is red, and I hope I get my Cabbage Patch doll. I think you will. Oh, I Thank hope you. so. <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas Santa. Everyone. What a treat. Well, over oh. a million people lined the, the streets of Hollywood, California, on a kind of a chilly night for Southern California, by the way, for the 54th annual Hollywood Christmas Parade. We saw stars, we saw bands, we saw equestrian centers, and I want to take this opportunity, if I can, to thank all of the technical crew and all of the production staff who put this together, and of course, to Johnny Grant, who was the executive producer. It's such a difficult job to get all of the stars and everybody together for the parade, but he did a great job. And Everyone Lee Merriweather, did a wonderful job. And how nice to have you here for the whole parade. Thank you, Bob. It was such a treat, uh, again, to do the parade with you. I mean, you, you do it so well. I have it's so, so much fun. For me. <laughs> it's a treat. It really May we take is. this time to thank our director, Joe Quasarano, to his production staff, especially to Cricket, who stands behind us and helps us out yeah, through the is. parade. Ladies and gentlemen, we wish you and yours a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Bye-bye, everybody. We'll see you next year. Yes, we will. Bye-bye.
ambush. All the romantic beauty of a sunny garden captured in one contemporary compelling fragrance. Ambush by Dana. The Chatham Automatic Rest Warmer provides graduated warmth for your body and added warmth at your feet, so it's better than an electric blanket. Call toll-free for store names. New bride dries in nearly half the time. So shiny and already dry. Wish I was. Turn on a bright shine with new bright. 